Hello, I'm Reverend Darrell Lewis, and I'm here with Wafa Abdeen to talk about your rights as immigrants. Many people are concerned about the anti-immigrant atmosphere and the current threat of deportations. We want you to know that everyone in the United States, including undocumented immigrants, have certain legal rights. We want you to know what to do in case ICE stops you in public. Wafa, what should an undocumented person do if ICE stops them in, on the street or in a public place? There are a couple of things to remember. If an Immigration and Customs Enforcement or ICE officer stops you, do not run if you are being approached by an officer. You do not have to answer any questions or speak to the immigration officers. If you are asked where you were born or how you entered the United States, you may refuse to answer or remain silent. Before you say anything, you can ask, am I free to go? If the answer is yes, you can walk away. If, you, if not, you can remain silent. In some states, the law may require that you provide identification to the police if they ask. If you fail to identify yourself, this may lead to being arrested. You will need to make a plan that is best for your situation. You do not have to provide information about your immigration status, where you were born, or how and when you came to the United States. You should not show documents from your home country. If you choose to remain silent, say so out loudly. I also understand people can have something in writing to give to the officer saying that they are exercising their right to remain silent. Yes, you may show a Know Your Rights card to the officer that explains that you wish to remain silent and want to speak to an attorney. Organizations that provide legal services for immigrants can give you a card that says, I am exercising my right to remain silent. What if you're asked to show other documents? If someone is a legal permanent resident, it is very important to show your green card so you don't end up in detention. But you do not have to show your immigration document. It is important to never give an officer a false document. This will subject you to criminal prosecution. Do people have the right to contact a lawyer? Yes, if you are detained or taken into custody, you have the right to immediately contact a lawyer. You need to clearly tell the officer you want to call a lawyer and that you want to have legal representation. If you have a lawyer, you have the right to talk to them. If you have signed the Department of Homeland Security Form G28, which shows you have a lawyer, give it to the officer. The Form G28 is a form that is filled out by you and by your lawyer that basically indicates the attorney has agreed to represent you and you have accepted the attorney's representation. If you already have an attorney, be sure to carry his or her contact information with you at all times. In reality, these things happen very fast, so it's best to have a lawyer already, correct? Correct. If you do not have a, a lawyer, get in touch with one of the legal services in your area as, as soon as possible. You will have resources at the end of this video. And make sure never to go to a notario. You have the right to contact your consulate also. The consulate may be able to help you find a lawyer. They may be, they may be at risk in contacting your consulate if you are an asylum seeker and afraid of being harmed by your country. If this applies to you, it should be important to discuss with an attorney first. Also, if you are detained, you can ask an immigration officer for a list of pro bono lawyers. Pro bono means that they will help you without charge. What if people are asked to present documents? This is very important. You have the right to refuse to sign any paperwork without seeking the advice of a lawyer. Do not sign any documents without, without seeking advice from an attorney because you might have immigration relief that might help you stay in this country. And if you do sign, please make sure you understand what you are signing. For more information, you can go to, to the Catholic Charities website, TMO website, or attend a charla at Catholic Charities. A charla is a free informational session that provides information on immigration law and your rights. Everyone who attends a charla receives a free consultation with an attorney. 
You can also get immigration information from the Houston Immigration Legal Services Collaborative, which has a listing of immigration organizations like Catholic Charities of the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. Finally, check the TMO website for more videos and Know Your Rights workshops. In the Houston metro area, church leaders from many denominations continue to call for comprehensive immigration reform in order to address this issue in a sensible, holistic way. Thank you for watching this video and God be with you.